How to make 7-Zip faster. I normally use WinRAR over 7-Zip simply because it's faster and only a little less efficient with compression. I did a few tests on different file types and sizes comparing the 7-Zip and WinRAR default settings on their normal compression and their best compression, and in a lot of cases WinRAR was 50% faster and in some it was actually 100% faster. But, I do like FOSS more. So here are my questions. Is there a way to make 7-Zip speed up? I'd like it to at least be on par with WinRAR speed. Is there a way to make recovery segments in 7-Zip like you can in WinRAR? I didn't see any, but I guess it could be a command line thing. I tested WinRAR and 7-Zip using the latest stable version of each, 4. something with 7-Zip. Is the 9.x beta release noticeably faster at compression? I'm talking about faster at a comparable setting in WinRAR, not just lowering to bare minimum compression. If it matters, I use a quad-core Intel R7720, 1.6 GHz, 2.8 GHz, with 4 GB DDR3 RAM, and the 64-bit version of 7-Zip, and dual-boot Debian X64 5.0.4 and Windows 7 Home. If you get to 7-Zip 9.13 beta you can change the archive type to Ulsma 2 and thus be able to use as many threads as you like, though the memory usage goes up phenomenally. Install the beta, right click the stuff you want to archive then under the 7-Zip contact menu click add to archive. And you will get something similar to the window below. On the left hand side under compression method you should find Ulsma 2 which will allow you to change the number of threads which will be an option a bit further down. This has the potential of vastly increasing performance on NGT, two core processors as it can be better tuned to your system, and the normal compression method can only handle two threads maximum. The slash one you see to the right of the number of thread selection box in the image is the number of processors in your system and thus the recommended number of threads. My i7 is a quad core processor but has hyper threading which does actually help here btw, so it shows a slash 8. As each thread seems to compress multiple files at the same time, the best thing you can do to increase performance of very large zip jobs is to set threads to 1, to be sure that your hard drive will seek one file at a time. We improve performance on all our daily zip backup procedures by adding MMT equals off to 7 zip command line. Our backup of the Visual SVN repository, which is made from multiple small files, was taking between 50 and 60 minutes. With MMT equals off, we now always do it in less than 5 minutes. And, during these 50 minutes, all our servers were very slow because of the hard drive seeking. Now, everything remains very fast during those 5 minutes. For everything you do on a machine, the hard drive activity will always be slower than your CPU capacity. You can increase disk performance by disabling parallel activities and making sure that the hard drive reads, and write, your files one by one serially. Also it's better to read from disk 1 and write your zip to disk 2, as the physical head does not move from read to write. Sample line to get maximum zip speed while keeping your machine performance. D column, and, T column, are two different physical disks. Another little trick to improve performance when you use code like this example. Is, if possible, have in the array dollar listed or listed the directories by size, from the smallest to the largest. This happens because at each for each cycle 7 zip creates a temporary file that is as large, or larger, than the original one, then add new file inside them. I have tried with cases in which there are two or more directories large some MB and one large many GB and the saving of time is in the order of several minutes.
In my company, we are working with an old version of 7-zip, 4.52 beta, and we are running the following command. This is working fine, but after just having upgraded to the newer version 16.04, 32-bit, the performance has dropped enormously, so I've decided to downgrade back to the old version.